July 14th, SmackDown. The first hour was all right, but I feel like once we kind of got in towards the end of the first hour into the second hour, SmackDown just went from being all right to good, in my opinion. So we kicked the show off with Bianca Belair, man, pretty much saying how um, she was going to win back her title and all that good stuff from Asuka later on in the show. And Charlotte came out. Charlotte was like, hey, whoever wins, I want to face them at SummerSlam. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it. Bianca, I think you're going to beat Asuka. And so Bianca was like, all right, well, if I win tonight, which I know I will, I'll uh, see you at SummerSlam. So that was the first little segment, nice little segment there. But the first match of the night was Pretty Deadly versus the Brawling Brutes. This was actually a really good match, man, that saw Pretty Deadly got the win here. And uh, honestly, they, they deserved it. Pretty Deadly, I think they're one of the promising tag teams on SmackDown. And um, yeah, this is a good win for them and a uh, really good tag match. So uh, next was Bailey versus Lena Vega. There was nothing to this match to offer. You know, this was short that Bailey won. Um, after the match, they got people talking because Shotzi um, basically did a vignette where she cut her hair off, basically saying, like, I'm coming after you, Bailey, and somewhat EO. Um, fun fact for those who don't know this, um, but it was actually revealed that the reason why Shotzi basically cut her hair, her sister is unfortunately dealing with cancer right now. And basically, this is Shotzi's way of show, like showing her sister, like, hey, like, I'm I'm with you, like, I'm I'm supporting you. Thick and thin, 100%. And honestly, I think that's, like, really cool, you know? Like, I already had respect for Shotzi, but, like, this makes me respect her even more. So, shout out to her for doing that. Like, she didn't have to do it, but the fact that she did, I, I say that's awesome. Like, really awesome. Um, J Speaking of awesome, Jey Uso come, came out. He cut a really good promo. Um, You know, he, was, he said, I got respect for my family. I don't got no respect for you, Roman Reigns, wise man, solo. Then Solo came out and said, I don't I don't forgive you. Heyman was like, I don't forgive you. Tribal Chief doesn't forgive you. And then Solo and Jay ended up going back and forth. And then this got to the point where Heyman got involved. Heyman got super kicked. So Jay was so really, really, really laying in on, on the wise men and Solo tonight. And sending a message to the Tribal Chief where, according to Heyman, not only will he be on SmackDown next week, but those two will meet face to face for some meetup of some sort, probably for SummerSlam. I don't obviously to confirm the match for SummerSlam, but you know. So tonight was the first round matchup for the United States Championship Invitational. Grayson Waller, AJ Santos, Butch. This was a really good matchup as well. It really seemed like AJ was going to win, but um, the match was won by Santos Escobar because Karrion Cross attacked his OC member. So AJ obviously was too focused on that. But as far as this Fatal 4 win match, this is a really good one. And uh, man, great freaking Austin Deary had me cracking on commentary. Like he he could he could not go five minutes without mentioning like I beat John Cena at WrestleMania. Like okay, dude, like. We get it. You beat John at Mania. Okay, like, John's, like, past his prime at this point. Like, okay. Um, but we did see the Street Profits talking. And who showed up? Bobby Lashley, man. Bobby Lashley is back. And him and the Street Profits were, I guess, were in the limo getting ready for a talk. So, hey, if this is leading to a Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits alignment, well, sign me the heck up. I'm down to see that. And it's good to see Bobby Lashley, man. He's back. He, he really looks good. Um, we had some, the rest of the guys who are going to be in the next Fatal 4-Way on FS1 next week. They were cutting their promos. One, including LA Knight, which got a huge reaction. You know, all saying how they're going to be like United States champion, basically. And then the main event time, Bianca, Asuka. I ain't going to lie. This was predictable. Um, every I, I knew the ending before the match even happened, before they even made their entrance. Every, everybody saw this coming. Um, so the ending for SmackDown didn't really surprise me tonight, if I'm being like completely 100% honest with you. But honestly, I thought this was actually a... I thought tonight was actually a good episode of SmackDown, if I'm being quite honest with you, like overall. So um, we got a lot of stuff happening tomorrow. Slammiversary. I know AEW's got battled belts plus the Owen Hart tournament, so be on the lookout for that. As I'll try to talk about them. But um, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed my SmackDown review. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah.